Raziel has purified the Reaver by the means of absorbing Ariel into it. Now, this is sort of creates a weird kind of time paradox. Oh, demons. Weird kind of time paradox. I'm not sure how this explained because if Ariel was absorbed into the Reaver at this point, then uh, what is it exactly that was encountered much later on in the timeline, such as in Soul Reaver, or Soul Reaver, uh, if, if she was absorbed in the timeline at this point, then she wasn't going to be around in order to be absorbed into the Reaver later. Or, hold on, never mind. In order to encounter Raziel in the future. So it's kind of screwy, and like, I, I can't even say it right how screwy it is. This seems similar to the demons that we encountered in Soul River 2 towards the end of the game. Ah, taking them out. It's a shame they don't have like a seamless transition into the Spectral Realm when you're taken out like that. But, uh, whatever. Still load at checkpoints instead of just being transitioned in the spectral realm. Gotcha. What? Hmm. River seems to be pretty powerful at taking these things down now. Uh, I'm not going to Avernus, so nothing over here for me. Gotta find the passageway that allows me just to walk to Vordor's mansion. Because that's probably where Yannis is going to be, you know. Damn these things! Fuck this. <laughs> I'm out. Give this way a try. That's right. Demons follow you. Feed the river. What is that noise? What is this? The binding is failing. All is lost. We had arrived at that cataclysmic moment when a younger Cain faced his fateful dilemma as Balance Guardian. Choosing self-preservation over sacrifice, he doomed the pillars to eternal ruin. Raziel, there may yet be hope. There is one who will be called. You must seek the Scion of Balance. Dear God! Ah, Raziel, we meet again. You have played your part flawlessly. It is gratifying to attain both freedom and vengeance in a single stroke. No! 
You cannot! <gasps> this one is strong. Good. My next move requires a more durable host. Mortals are such fragile vessels. Willing or not, you have provided the instrument of our victory. I wouldn't celebrate just yet. You pathetic creature. You haven't got a clue. The seduction of the Circle and possession of Mortanius. Ariel's murder. The corruption and collapse of the Pillars. All orchestrated as a prelude to this moment. We sought an incorruptible vessel, and you provided one. We required the blood of our ancient enemy, and you delivered Janos Audren. Having first been lured to the heart of darkness. Best of all, you murdered the Scion of Balance to get it. We've already won. Brazil, you must not allow them to carry out their plan. Kill me, and you end it now. Suicidal like the rest of them. Know your place, Brazil. The true hero plays his role and then steps aside. <laughs> you deluded ghoul. Do you so wish to die a martyr for the vampire's lost cause? You're not leaving this chamber. I will destroy Janos if I have to. Very well, then. I'll indulge you. Time for a boss fight. Yano Soldrin has been taken by the vampire. Not the vampires, by the Hilden. This is who we're dealing with here. The Hilden were locked away a long ass time ago in this sort of demon realm. Nothing that they could do about it other than sort of influence people in some minor way. Unfortunately, it was enough. And while they weren't able to simply cast themselves back in the Nazgoth, they were able to sort of draw certain people to do things. That included Mobius and Mortanius. While Mobius seems to be more of a... Um, uh, more of a follower of the Elder God, Mortanius was the one that really mattered. But... Uh, Mortanius went and uh, started the rebellion against the vampires in order to weaken the uh, weaken the pillars in the circle. Then, when it was now, I'm I'm concentrating on the fight. He's going to take me out, unfortunately. I'm going to have to try again, but uh, that's why I'm not saying much. Fortunately, he's going to block like almost all of our attacks. You have to dodge that one and then hit him. I had to learn his uh, pattern. Up, oh, down we go. Let's give that another try. It wasn't. It wasn't in service of the Elder God. And it wasn't in service of the. Um, wasn't in service of the Hilden that Mortanius went and and uh, captured Tyrell and stuck him in Avernus Cathedral. It was in an attempt to sort of deny the Hilden a sort of vessel. They, uh, they used Tyrell as a vessel and were essentially trapped there. It was Mortanius' plan at the time to go and trap him there. 
Because if he was their if he was their vessel, they couldn't do anything about it. They couldn't get out trapped there. Wasn't worshipping Terrell, although that's what he told his people. They were just sort of using it as an excuse to keep Terrell alive long enough so he couldn't the uh, he could keep the Hilden tied up and they couldn't you know cause any more harm. Damn you, you stupid jackass. Perhaps this was the reason why Cain didn't want Yanos to be resurrected. I don't think he really understood that this would happen, because he didn't really get the whole um, Hilden wanting to use him thing. But it was definitely uh, a result he wished to avoid, or we should have avoided. Now we find that all of the events leading up in the entire series have leading up to the moment at the end of the first game. It was Cain's eventual refusal to sacrifice himself, which is what they, the Hilden needed in order to weaken the pillars and draw themselves into the real world. Or not the real world, into Nazgoth. Damn it! Okay, I did a little better that time, I think, but... Uh, whatever. In the other games, it would have resulted in uh, the boss's health being not restored at the end of when Raziel resurrects. This just sort of works like a continue rather than the gameplay characteristics it would have had in the earlier games of just would have been like an indefinitely coming Raziel. Rolling out of the way is not a good way to avoid that attack. You gotta jump. Gotcha now. I figured out your game, fool. Of course, as much as I'd like to think we can affect change here, we all know when the, the Hilden Lord will eventually die, and it's not here. What? <laughs> Come on now. Stop being a punk. What? Come on. Got him half life in. Ain't that some shit? Jumping out of the way of that is useless, but rolling out of the way of the other attack is equally dumb. Give me your souls, fool. Reservoir. <laughs> Bringing in back up, you idiot. <laughs> Attacking him like that is useless. I should stop. Wow. Reaction time's got to be pretty quick to avoid that. You like pain? Because I'm going to bring you plenty of that. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Almost got him. Of course, even if we do take the Hilden Lord down. 
It won't stop the Elder God. The Elder God is still out and about doing his thing. It's interesting that you have two sides, the Elder God and the Hilden, who seem to be under the belief that they are the master manipulators of the world. Which one is actually right, though? Which one is pulling all of the strings? Are either of them actually pulling the strings? Oh, come on, I jumped out of the way of that. Give me your souls, quick! Aha! Now I got me some life. One more, one more good flurry of attacks and he's done. Maybe I should just try getting away from him when that happens. No, nope. what did I bounce off of? <laughs> Come on now. Bring it. Doesn't look like you can avoid that. Got one of them anyway. Gotcha now. Raziel, finish it before he returns. <laughs> You should have listened to me. Now it is finished, and thus a new epic has its beginning. 